nestled in a secluded section of Olympia's Priest Point Park, among the trees, moss, and ferns, resides a telephone that never rings. There are no wires leading to or from it, yet somehow, when picking up the handset, it can become possible to connect on a very deep level. At first, when I picked it up, I, um, I felt a little bit ridiculous. But then once I like picked it up, I said like, hi mom, and then it just started kind of pouring out. Corey Dembeck installed the phone and was also the first to use it. And I kind of told her about, you know, things that had happened since she had passed. And, uh, and then I like left and I felt better. Like I felt like a weight had been lifted off my chest. Corey says this phone is for everyone dealing with grief, loss, isolation, or has words left unsaid. Lori is a visitor. My son, Tyler, he um, passed away suddenly and unexpectedly on March 28th. I was at his bedside when he took his last breath, and when I walked out of the hospital that day, there were so many things I wish I would have said to him before he passed away. Came out here and called my son in heaven. Corey says the concept for this phone was borrowed from Ataru Suzaki, the creator of the original Phone of the Wind in Japan. Corey says he was motivated to create this homage after losing several people close to his heart. At the end of last year, my father died, and then uh, in September, my grandfather died. Then, close family friends lost a child. Corey dedicated this phone to her. She was the same age as one of his children. I have a four-year-old daughter. They, a few weeks before that, they were playing, and it just, like, destroyed me. I mean, I had it up, like, four hours after I got the news of Joelle. I thought that um, it would, it would just be helpful. Corey says the positive response to this phone has been overwhelming and he hopes more like it will spring up wherever they're needed for healing, comfort, and for some, closure. I'm glad it's brought some solace to people. I'm glad that people have found some comfort there. The setting is so beautiful out here. It's serene, it's quiet. I don't think I realized the impact that it had. Like I didn't realize how many people in this world needed something like this. If you need the phone, I mean, by all means, it's here. I'm glad that it would be able to help somebody. John Prentice, Seattle, Refined.